Now we're in Vensim, our preferred modeling tool. We've put the competitive spiral loop into Vensim. We're now going to build a model explaining why Easter Island collapsed and other similar societies did not. So far, we have a single force in the model, the competitive spiral. This seems to have been present in many societies that collapsed in the past, as well as today's highly competitive global society, which is headed towards collapse faster than Easter Island. Gerard Diamond and others have also written about other societies that did not collapse and were sustainable for a long time. The record appears to be the Australian Aborigines and the New Guinea Highlanders, both for an impressive 40,000 years or more. What did the many societies that did not collapse have in common? Well, at the most fundamental level, there's a big clue already on the model. See this competitive spiral? Well, the people that did not collapse probably had the opposite of that, cooperation. They had a cooperative spiral. So let's, let's name the other loop we need, the cooperative spiral. And we'll put it onto the, uh, the model. Let's put it about here. And it's a reinforcing loop. So let's put that about there. OK, now this force is going to oppose the competitive spiral as we build the model. Let's start building the loop. Obviously, it needs several parts to the other one. The most obvious is it needs a counterpart to this. It needs cooperative supporters. Likewise, we need a counterpart to this one. We need true promises, not false promises. We need something like this. OK, let's move this up a little. Now, moving right along, we need some, a counterpart to this. Instead of maximizing clan status, we're going to optimize the fruits of cooperation. Now, let's move things around a little and add our arrows. OK. The rest of the cooperation loop differs radically from the competition loop. So we've got to think deeply here. By studying this incomplete loop, we can ask ourselves, what are those cooperation supporters going to be doing? Why, working for the common good of all, of course. So let's add this node. <clears throat> and we add the error, of course. Now, how are we going to fill this gap? Well, the problem we're modeling is environmental collapse. So we would want the system to optimize the health of the environment. So let's add this node. OK. Perfect. Everyone is working to optimize ecosystem health and other common benefits. Now, all we've got to do is add our last two arrows okay and we're done now let's bold them there now we have our second loop let's walk the loop it's a powerful one if we can get it started and keep it going let's imagine it got started when one politician personally decided to optimize the fruits of cooperation. They would then be much more likely to try to accomplish that with true promises and claims extolling the virtue of cooperation instead of false promises and false claims. That in turn would cause more cooperation supporters. This would increase the work being done to optimize the common good of all, the result would be better ecosystem health as well as other common benefits. Seeing how well this worked would give leaders the incentive 
to, to continue optimizing the fruits of cooperation even more, and the loop starts all over again. And it goes round and round, it gets stronger and stronger. Now that is the kind of loop we need to solve the sustainability problem.